What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 149 of the Games and Drafts podcast. My name is Sunny G, and I am here, as always, with Finn Steele. Hello. Finn, how you doing? I'm doing all right, thanks. Doing okay. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. It's been so awesome. long since we did this podcast with just me and you. Oh, no. It's a classic. <clears throat> Games of Grabs classic. Yeah, that's what this is. Just old like school, old... <laughs> when Raw do their classics. <clears throat> yeah, old school Raw. It's old school Games of Grabs. Yeah, old school Games <laughs> and Grabs. Yeah. It's like old school Smackdown. Or exactly. old school Raw. <laughs> yeah, maybe like the old music. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep the music playing throughout the whole thing, like, like uh, after a couple of episodes. Got to remember that. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we should have we should have gone proper old school and just recorded it on an iPad, sitting across yeah, the yeah. same table from each other. Yeah, yeah, that'd have been. That's what we should have done. Yeah, well, maybe next that's time. what we should have done. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. St- Steve's just taking a week off this week, but he'll be back next week for the live one, yeah. episode one hundred and fifty. One fifty. Live in your face. <laughs> in your face. In your face. We'll have <laughs> some special guests like High Score Bloke. Oh uh, yeah, we will indeed. He had seven I haven't heard him more. I wonder how he is. Oh yeah, uh, I wonder how he is. Can nope. you attempt to high score, Blog? There he is. Oh, he's just made his guest appearance straight away. Yeah, he's doing all right. He's doing good. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Blake. Blog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I've missed that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe that's a real sound bite from a video game. Yeah, that's a re- that's a real uh, voice actor doing real voice acting in yeah. a video game. <laughs> I want to find that guy. Yeah, we need me to look through the credits of uh, Tony Hawk's. What, I think Tony Hawk's on the ground, was it? Uh, I think it's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Four. All right, okay. Yeah, we need to, we need to go to the credits and find High School Bloke. Yeah, and if you can find him, we'll find him on Twitter, and then we'll get him on the podcast, <laughs> and we'll just play that soundbite on repeat. Yeah, we'll, we'll get him to say that again and again. Yeah, that would be we awesome. Li- we got a live recording of it. Yeah, we could get him to record like. Uh, our own podcast intro. Like, yeah. Hey, uh, care to listen to Games and Graps, bloke? <laughs> That'd be perfect. <laughs> need to be to find him. It needs to happen. That needs to happen, yeah. I feel yeah. like we're the only podcast that talks about him. So, yeah. Um, I, yeah, that needs to happen. 100% that needs to happen. Absolutely. Hit us up, high school bloke. Yeah, high find school. Us. Definitely his real name, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I did his now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First name high school, second name bloke. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's, his first name's High, middle name Score, then Bloke. There you go. <laughs> That's it. High Score Bloke. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bloke. <laughs> Mr. Bloke? Mr. <laughs> his name's Cockney in the game, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, I think it is, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Hey, American guy, can you do a Cockney accent? Oh, easily. <laughs> yeah, I've got this. Yeah, here, here's, an, here's an example. Bloke? <laughs> oh, you're perfect for the role. Let's let's, yeah. let's, let's roll with it. <laughs> yeah. If if I say bloke after the sentence, that means I'm definitely Cockney. Yeah, I think that's that's how English works. That's how we say. That's how we speak in in, in England. You say yeah, bloke well, after everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, when we're like, yeah, can I have um, a bottle of Coke, bloke? Bloke. <laughs> <laughs> bottle of coke bloke <laughs> yeah but, but, so first, I did, you know what I didn't even think that it was going to rhyme when I said it <laughs> wasn't even thinking coke was the first thing that came to my head <laughs> bottle of not the drugs uh, yeah bottle of coke not a whatever drugs come in a sack of coke. <laughs> <laughs> a sack <laughs> like a swag bag of coke yeah <laughs> uh. alright so um, yeah so this is we're, we're kicking it old school today yeah. Uh, we've got a new logo in the top corner, if you're watching the video version. We do. So, it's you cool. know, we've got a couple of new features. Well, we've got old features, but we're doing them in a new way. Yeah, new old features. New old features. Um, so that's cool. Classic trial and error games and grass podcast. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, but <laughs> we will start the same way that we always do. So Finn Steele. What are you playing? What indeed? Um, not a whole lot different, really. More Final Fantasy VII remake, Thingamajig. I completely completed it now. I've done my first playthrough. That's his real I name, start... Thingamajig. <laughs> Thingamajig. That's it. <laughs> um, it's got. To... I started the game again on hard. I'm grinding my up, my way up to le- max level to get me through it. Mm. Um, let's see, I'll get that done. Get those trophies done. 
Uh, other than that, I'll play the demo for Neo The World End With You, which is the sequel to the DS game, The World Ends With You. Right. Um, which, which is really, really cool. Um, I like it a lot. I like the first game a lot. Is it more the same? Uh, soundtrack is excellent. I like the battle system, the way they've improved it uh, for console. And yeah, the intro, one of the coolest intros ever, like anime intros with awesome music. Cool. It's very cool. Very uh, up there with Persona intros. And Persona intros are top I tier. think the Persona 5 intro is the greatest intro to a game of all time. <laughs> uh, quite possibly, yeah. I think I'd agree with that, yeah. So is this is this <laughs> lazy game naming, or is this uh, like a, a port of the old one, but done for new consoles? Uh, no, so there was a port on Twitch, which wasn't received too well, just because the controls didn't really match up. Because on DS, basically you had two controllers. You controlled the top screen by using the like, D-pad and buttons, and the bottom screen you used like, the touch stylus thing. Right. It uh, sounds complicated, it worked really well. Uh, but for the Switch, you only got the one screen, so they tried to translate it and it didn't really work super well. Right. Um, but the new one, it's obviously been made for TVs and one screen, so it's done a lot better. And, so this uh, is a looks... whole new game? Yeah, whole new game. Whole new oh, okay. sequel-ish kind of new cast characters. Uh, I don't know why it's named that, but it's, the game's good, so who cares? Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> um, but So we're in agreement that it is lazy game naming. Oh yeah, it's a stupid name. Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> stupid but good. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, other than that, that's about it, really. Oh, I did briefly attempt to play uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator on PC and failed miserably. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I installed the game, loaded it up, all the way to like loading the screen to load it into the game, and it crashed. It's like, oh, right. here we go, here we go, here we go, and it's gone. Just, <laughs> nothing, no that, error message, just, just gone. Just is, that a, is that a your PC thing, or is that a uh, the game just doesn't work? Um, a bit of both, I think. My okay. PC is probably not great, good, like good enough to run it smoothly. But in the reviews, the reviews it only got, only got like two and a half stars out of five. I think ah. it's got some uh, optimization issues. Um, but oh, I'll play yeah. about with it a bit more. I did get into like a game for about a minute. And I drove, or yeah, drove my plane <laughs> forwards a little bit. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I think I didn't get play long enough to get in here. Uh, Lasted about five seconds and it's crashed again. Fair enough. So, yeah, I'll play about with it some more, see if I can get it to work. But for now, yeah. I'm looking forward yeah. to that coming out on Xbox later this month. I'm really mm. looking forward to trying it. You know, I don't anticipate that I'm going to play it a whole bunch, but um, it looks great. And I just I just want to look at it. You know what I mean? I just yeah, want me to, too. Yeah. I just want to see it. I just want to, like, fly places. I want it to be easy. I want, it to, yeah. I want the flight controls to be like GTA. <laughs> yeah, I think there is a mode, like, different difficulty modes. Uh, I was trying to use the keyboard, and uh, I think apparently like F3 is going forwards and using numpad for certain things. You can literally do everything, like control everything in the plane, it's nuts. Um, yeah, I just want yeah, to press... I just want to right trigger. I wanna, yeah, I want to <laughs> press the right trigger to, to like, accelerate, yeah. and then maybe, like, pull back on the left <laughs> analog stick to go up. Yeah, I'm sure there's modes like that you can do. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to play it long enough <laughs> to try them out. If there is, but, then, uh, you know, that's a winner for me. Yeah. Because that'll be good fun, and it looks glorious, so... Yeah, amazing. Yeah, so I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. I'm not going to let it beat me. I will play it somehow. It's going to get to a point where your PC is going to take off before <laughs> a plane in the game takes off. <laughs> yeah, as you smoke them on PC. It's can't <laughs> you can do it. Don't give up now. <laughs> 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 it explodes and he's made a hole in the side of my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Greg walks in, it's like, uh, <laughs> flight simulator. I go, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's about all we've been playing this week. Uh, how about yourself? Honestly, not much. Yeah. Um, I, f- I found um, gaming time a little bit of a little bit of a premium this week. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm still plugging away at Ratchet and Clank, but I've not really nice. had a chance to sort of sit down and really sort of hammer away at it. I've got about. I don't think I've got long left of the game and I don't have that many trophies left. Uh, I'm going for the platinum and I will get the platinum. Um, I'm going to try and I'm going to, I'm going to be at home quite a bit um, sort of in the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to try and uh, try and get through it then. Nice. But otherwise I've been playing, I've been playing some Forza (laughs) horizon four. Oh yeah. Really back into it. Trying to do everything, trying to get achievements. I've not been able to get before. Nice. Um, so I'm making my way through that. Still really enjoying it. It's amazing. So good. Uh, we played a little bit of Sea of Thieves, A Pirate's Life. Oh, yeah. How was the, it? 
It's really good, man. It's so good. It's uh, awesome. It's just it's great that they've added it on, and they've added it. They've made it so it is like a, a single player campaign mode. That's good. So you you, really you good. activate the tall tales, and then you, you're still in chapters. Mm. So you do the first chapter, and it's like that's basically where you rescue Jack Sparrow from um, the Sea of the Damned. Uh, yeah. um, but you know. The, the way they've done it is really cool. There's like uh, teamworky bits where you pull levers and uh, like platforms move so you can get across and stuff like that. It's really, really cool the way that they've done it and they've basically created a whole new um, world for the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. And then it transforms you back into the normal Sea of Thieves map once you've done each chapter. And then you can so sort of potter about and do whatever you want to do in Sea of Thieves. Go to any outpost, activate the next quest, and away you go. And yeah, it's it's really good. Um, super impressed. Looking forward to you know carrying on with that as a fresh set of achievements that have come along with it as well. So nice. extra incentive to play it. I hate DLC that doesn't come with achievements. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, make you feel like what, what am I doing? What's the point? Yeah, <laughs> like all the, What's the point? why I bother. <laughs> like all the all the WWE 2K games, like when they were bringing out the showcase modes and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. No achievements to go along with them. So like, what are you doing? I know. Oh, come on. Give me a reason to play this. Understand that we, this is what we want. Otherwise, we've got no reason to play it because we've already seen these clips from Raw in the 90s slash early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. Some devs don't get it. They think, oh, we don't need achievements. Don't want to care. Like, no. There's millions of gamers out there <laughs> play games just for the achievements. Yeah. I mean, yeah. people actively trophies. are trophy hunters or achievement hunters or... You know, and stuff like that. Like when you like me playing Forza now, I'm actively going for the achievements. Yeah. So you know, like not, devs do better. Yeah, like before achievement and trophies, I played through a game once, and I mean, I, I'm the. Yeah, um, me too. Now, yeah. There's just, and now it's like this, there's a you know, trophy for playing it second time, doing the certain thing, or doing the speed run in a few hours or whatever. I'll yeah. go for it. I'll do it. Like I want to get the most like much as I can from these games, thanks to trophies and stuff. Yeah, exactly, and it really does yeah. help you get your money's worth out of games. It's just, uh, um, so yeah, rare, good achievements yeah, good for every chapter and all the good stuff in between. Nice, excellent work. Other devs that don't do DLC trophies, do better. Yeah, <laughs> what are you playing at? Yeah, what are you doing? Just do better. <laughs> but that, but you know what? That is pretty much it this week. I've not even, I've probably had a couple of games of Pez, but oh yeah, that is that is about it. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've really, I've had a lot of shifts at work this week, and even more next week. So now, yeah, I'm not having as much time as I normally have. So mm. yeah, it's fun times. I played a little bit more sketchy um, Rumble Roses as well. Oh yeah, so on Discord, yeah. <laughs> the achievement the list for that mm. impossible. Oh yeah, one of those. Well, I've not, I've not unlocked a single one. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Is so it like, like typical fighting game trophies, like win the billion matches online or something? Which it's like, oh, win the championship with so and so character. Well, all the characters have got that trophy, so win the championship with whoever, right? But it doesn't tell you how to to win the championship. There's no championship oh. mode. Oh, <laughs> so basically, Weird. it throws you onto like a, a map with like different locations on it. Mm. So you've got like a street fight, which is basically like Tekken, but in bras. Um, <laughs> Even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then you've got you've got like an, a normal arena like wrestling. You've got a skyscraper ring and other sort of stuff, right? And it just throws random matches at you. But there's, there's no sign of a championship anywhere. So I'm just playing these random matches. I Googled it. And basically, you've got to fight. Uh, exhibition matches don't count. You've got to right. fight these matches against all of the... You've got to fight singles matches against all the characters. Right, okay. But the game throws up random matches. So you don't even get to pick who you fight. <laughs> so you go, could spend yeah, four million hours just trying to do one. <laughs> yeah, bloody hell. Weird. It's stupid. Yeah, well, they have normal story mode like normal games. Oh, it, honestly, it's it's so weird. Like if you, it's no <laughs> auto save either. You have to manually save it. So if God. you come out after doing these matches and forget to save it, you're straight back in there. No, oh. <laughs> you're straight back in there, clean slate. Yeah. That sounds annoying. So stupid. It's like, has the worst menu system out of any game probably I've ever played. <laughs> um, and also the worst progression system and achievement system. Um, I don't know why I play it. <laughs> yeah, because boobies, that's why you play it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fair enough, actually. I yeah. understand now. <laughs> I'm glad you made me see the light. <laughs> <laughs> the light of boobies. 
Delight of Boobs, yeah. yeah. Trophy, that's the uh, title name, Delight of Boobs. <laughs> yeah. well, that, that means this one will get loads of views this week. Yeah, well, yeah. Put a, put a anything, yeah, picture of boobs on thumbnail. be great. Yeah, Any, anything <laughs> with that kind of thing in it, nerds are all over it. Yep. I'd and then be. they'll be like, this podcast wasn't about boobs. They mentioned it two times. <laughs> thumbs down. Um, oh, yeah, we've missed thumbs down video uh, we've had. <laughs> Definitely. Just yeah. come and expecting boobs and they won't get it. Sorry, yeah. nerds. Sorry, nerds. <laughs> if you're expecting some sort of hentai <clears throat> podcast, not no, today, you son. To other, you have to listen to my other podcast, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Hen- hentai me. Weekly with Finn. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, so I've not really been playing a, a whole heap, really. I'm going to um, sort of uh, play some games maybe later. I want to try Grounded on Xbox. They've just added a new oh. update and um, achievements as well. It's a gaming game preview, so they like to keep building it. Uh, but oh, it's like yeah. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Uh, and you're in like, right. a backyard fighting like ants and stuff and building things. It looks really cool. Um, mm. It's an Xbox exclusive, and I think it's on PC as well. So, yeah, nice. it's on Game Pass, and it's it looks really cool. So I'm going to try that out. It's like four gig to download. So I thought, well, you know. Give it a try, yeah. If I could scrape a couple of achievements off this, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, I also bought a game called, um, I keep forgetting the name of it, Scarlet Nexus. Uh, oh, yeah. PS5. That's linked on PS4 and Xbox as well. Um, but yeah, it looks really good, like in like a hack and slash, like sort of a like better type of micro kind of thing. Is that what um, kind of game it is? Is it? Because I've seen it, but I have not seen anything about it. Yeah, I think so. It's made by Bandai Namco. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'd heard nothing about it. I think I skipped it from last last week, last month's um, games of the month just because I didn't, haven't heard of it. I just assumed it was some random game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's really good. I've seen it a lot of it on Twitter and stuff. I was like, oh wow, that's that's a definite me. I need to try that out. Yeah, that's a game that I forgot about last month because I thought, nah, that's, that's shit. Never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, now the box art. Now I've dropped 55 just... quid on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think about 45. But if, <clears throat> if you had a box art, uh, just they're like super generic and mm. boring. So it's just like, oh, this is stupid. But no, the game itself is awesome. There you go. Cool. Yeah. We'll report back on that next week. Are you going to play it before next week? Hopefully. No, then. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I like that you bought a pile of games. And I can't wait to hear you never talk about them. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but no, I was looking, I was hunting around, like, I found a bunch of, like, cheap uh, uh, video game, like, websites, shops. Oh, yeah. And I normally use shop 2net but there's, like, a few of those that are, like, even cheaper. I've been hopping around a few different ones to try and find the cheapest prices. Yeah, find the good just, deals. You've just promoted shop 2net on this podcast. Other game websites are available. Yeah, like the game collection, uh, Simply Games, Base.com. They're the ones I use. <laughs> there you go. They're all good. All them game websites. All them. Go use them. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, do we have any uh, gaming news to speak of? Um, I forgot to have a look, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one thing I saw on Twitter that was really funny. Oops, I didn't even find a picture for it. Um, so it's a game called Walking Dead Survivors. I don't know okay. if you saw this. No. Uh, the, the box art for it is... You might look familiar. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> right, okay. I meant to bring it out, I completely forgot. I was focusing on um, <clears throat> games of the month and stuff. Well, I've got a bit of gaming news while you look for that. Okay, dokie. Uh, so, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut is a real thing. Ah, uh, yes. And is coming out in August for PS4 and PS5. It comes with some DLC. Um, you may have seen the term Ghost of Ikishima. Doing oh, the yeah. rounds over the last uh, week or so, but it's a real thing. So there's a, a Iki Island is uh, like a new area of play, and uh, that's all included in this new edition of the game. Awesome. There's a few different upgrade paths as well. So if you do currently own the PS4 version of Ghost of Tsushima, uh, you can pay money to upgrade it to the PS5 version. Um, nice. It's, I saw that it was $20, so whatever that is in pounds. Uh, it's not much, <laughs> and probably worth it. So, Yeah. That's the one I still haven't played. I need to get around to. So the PS5 version. May as well wait now, yeah. Wait, wait yeah, for just over it. a month and uh, play the PS5 version. Yeah, will do. Oh, yeah, GameSpot made a really good uh, abandoned slash Silent Hill video, like the conspiracy Ooh. video. It's worth checking out if you want to see it. 
I mean, what do we think's happening with this at the minute? Because, you know, obviously there was um, a thing this week with uh, Konami and uh, Bluebo, is that what they're called? Who made uh, the medium. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that they've got some sort of working relationship now, and a lot of people seem to think that that's going to lead to a Silent Hill game. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. And didn't Kojima just tweet something recently about working with Xbox or something? Yeah, so apparently that. they've got like a, a gentleman's agreement. Right, okay. Uh, or like an unwritten agreement that uh, they're going to do something together. Uh, it's going to be cloud-based. Oh, yeah, I thought it was cloud-based gaming. Hmm. So, uh, you know, anything Kojima is interesting and different. Oh, yeah. And so it's not surprising that he wants to sort of uh, do different things. He's been tweeting a bunch recently, actually, Kojima, talking about all the sort of Easter eggs um, and and stuff like that that he's put into different technologies, uh, like the Pocket Station. Oh, yeah. Um, there was yeah, he like put like some sort of fox die thing in there, and there was there's a bunch of other stuff. Go check out uh, Hideo Kojima's uh, English language Twitter and uh, go and have a look. Dude's super interesting anyway, but yeah, awesome. That sounds good. Have you found that box art? I oh, have indeed. Let's see if I can bring it up on on here. So I've got some new fancy toys to play with. Ooh. Um, let's have a look. Clicking around. Clicky, click, click. Um, so this is the... Is it working? <laughs> no way. Is, no <laughs> way. That is not real. No. Um, apparently it's real. People were saying, I oh, know it's not real. And then they did some research. And no, apparently it is an actual thing. Um, it's someone made, made... Slash photoshops. Uh, the funniest thing about it is if you zoom in on that lady's hand, you can see Claire's gun <laughs> very visibly <laughs> behind her hand. They've not cut it out at all. <laughs> Jesus. Put no effort into that at all. So this is, what was it called? The Walking Dead Survivors? Uh, yeah, I think it's a mobile game. Right. But, yeah, um, so <laughs> that is unbelievable. If that's real, that is totally shocking. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. How could they think yeah. they can get away with that? Mental. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I, I cannot know. believe it. Even to be so lazy as to keep Claire's gun in there as well. I know. <laughs> so stupid. Wow. Yeah. Well, There's no way they'll keep know. that. No, <laughs> surely not. I think they've already, he's already been like gone from their Twitter page, or whatever, or from like, <laughs> advertising. How many Walking Dead games are there, by the way? What the hell? Too many. <laughs> there seems to be like um, shitloads. Yeah, to be honest, a lot of them are quite good. Like we had the original games, like from Telltale, which are really good. Oh yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. And there's the BR one, which is apparently quite good. Oh yeah, what's that called? Saints and Sinners or something like that. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. It's supposed that. to be really good. Yeah. I haven't had um, played yeah. my VR in ages. I want to play the Star Wars game that I've got. Um, Vader Immortal. Oh yeah. It's like an episodic that's thing. Um, I really want to play. It. I have it, and I've had it for ages. Uh, so I had it when it came out. In America last year, or the year before, oh, yeah. I can't even remember now. But um, it's only just come out here. Oh wow! Um, but yeah, I want to. I want to play it. I keep meaning. I keep telling myself, like, right, just, plug, just, <laughs> just. I've got the VR and everything plugged in, and it's just in a little box. All I need to do is just lift it out, put it on my head, and it'll work. But <laughs> I haven't got to unplug anything. I'm going to plug anything in. I've literally just got to lift it out, put it on my head, and it'll work. <laughs> but I'm just yeah. too lazy. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, too I lazy to stand. Up. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk the same. I did play. I do jump in Beat Saber every now and then just for a bit of fun. Yeah, but yeah, most of the time I'm like you. I'll like, oh, just play that VR game, and it's don't. Let's yeah, talk about a couple I want to play because <laughs> there's so many good ones that I've missed out on uh, that I really yeah, want to check same. out. I still want to finish Blood and Truth. Like, I still haven't finished that. Yeah, that's yeah, a really good one. I think I did finish it eventually. I've but... gotten almost like almost all the way through it, and then just haven't played it. <laughs> yeah, it's the last little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good game. Uh, yeah, cool. it's really Other, good. Yeah. Other video game news. I'm looking through GameSpot now. Um, who knows? getting his first big championship series with a big cash, cash prize. That's, that's interesting. What's getting it? What's that? What uh, game? Uno. Uno. The yeah, card game. Oh, Uno? Yeah. People love Uno. They do. Up, up, on Up, Up, Down, Down, they play it a lot. Um, I think it's Xavier Woods, Cesaro, Alan Cole, and Tyler Breeze Rip. Um He's not <laughs> actually dead, by the way. He's just been released. Oh yeah, he's fine. Uh, um, but yeah, they played a lot. It's always they've done like hundreds of videos on it. Well, made hundreds, but a bunch of videos on it. It's always very funny to watch. Mm. Um, so yeah. Um, otherwise, can't not seeing anything huge on there. 
Um, yeah, slow slow news week. It seems slow news week. Yeah, well that's okay. No news means <laughs> less work for us. True. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Less work for us in this sort of in this. I'm not used to this two person dynamic. I know it's been a while. It's been so long. We're out of practice. We are really out of practice. To be fair, I think with <laughs> blood and truth, I wish they had um, a better Cockney guy doing the voice. Yeah, that would be better. It's, not, it's, it's all right, but it's not as good as uh, as this hey, guy. Can you attempt a high score, Blair? <laughs> yeah, we need to get this guy there. <laughs> yeah, imagine that in Blood of Truth, like a blood, a blood and truth. Sorry, just like um, <laughs> it's like really serious bit. Oi, yeah. you fucking mug! I'm gonna abs- I'm gonna stripe you, uh, and then that guy pipes up. Hey, up! Uh, what? Put your gun away, bloke! Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't shoot me, bloke! <laughs> don't shoot me, bloke! <laughs> well, since you said bloke, and that definitely confirms that you're English, so <laughs> yeah, must be true. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> true. Oh man! Right, um, we're flying through stuff this week. We are, we are getting through it. We're getting through it, which begs the question: What the hell do we do every week? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's, I think it's Steve. <laughs> I'll blame Steve. Yeah, we'll blame <laughs> Steve. Yeah, he, he, we'll, we'll blame Steve. We'll just pretend he talks too much or something. Yeah, but definitely not. Definitely not us. It's definitely not us. No. No. <laughs> um, right. Let's 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 move on, Finn. Cool. Let's do it's, it. It's everybody's favourite segment. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's mine. And it it's the first podcast of the month. Mm-hmm. And you know what that means. We do indeed. Games of the month. Hell yeah. Music started. Let's bring up the special screen. Special screen. Special screen. Yeah. I've got my two things in. <laughs> my retainers. <laughs> um, where is it? There it is. Right. They are the games of the month for July 2021. Hell yeah. Look at uh, us for... now. Look at Hell us. Hell yeah. This is uh, from the website releases.com. Shout out to them. Shout out uh, releases.com. Hell yeah. So, I won't go through everything because there's a bunch. Um, let's go through the main ones. Is it me or does this guy look a bit a lot like uh, David Mitchell, the comedian? He does actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe. The procession to Calvary. Sounds fun. Uh, the, what's that word there? Sight. This adventure game in which you journey through a richly detailed landscape built from hundreds of Renaissance paintings. Huzzah! Uh, sounds interesting. There's some uh, box art there. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> That's a day one purchase right there. <laughs> oh my god. Sc- zoom in on that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can. I, I, I think I can with this website. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in this picture? Right. Uh, I to think. <laughs> right, so there's a guy in a boat. Not sure what he's doing. A anymore. guy with a sword. This is for people that are listening to the audio version and need a description. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then there's a an almost naked bloke holding an almost naked... I can't tell if it's a woman or a man. I think it's a man. So I two... <laughs> Jesus. I'm completely what naked. Look. Oh, no. I it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the wording. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare uh, to be boarded. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, game of the year. Game of the year been... right there. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> oh, my God. That's definitely pick up the month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, man. It came out on pretty much everything a while ago. I think it's coming out on console. Yeah, PS4, Switch, and Xbox One uh, this month. <laughs> <laughs> they all were just to be boarded. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, uh, good times. Uh, here's a big one: Play Tell Innocence. That's been announced for well, some gaming news. We've got to talk about Play, uh, games of the month for PlayStation, PlayStation Plus games. Yeah, this is one of, of them. them. Yeah, this is one of them. Play Tell Innocence came out on Xbox and stuff a few years ago, and PS4. Yeah, this is the proper enhanced version for the newest, the newest consoles. This is a good uh, game as well. Really yeah. good. Really good. Miserable subject. But <laughs> it's bit. really good. Yeah, I watched some gameplay of it um, out of curiosity, and yeah, it looks really, really fun. Oh, you've not played it? I've not, not yet. I will do, though. Yeah, definitely do. It's, it's <laughs> really good. It's like going to be 4K, 60 FPS, and Very on nice. PlayStation Plus, like day one. 
But also, it is going to be on Xbox uh, Series X and S uh, day one as well. I believe on Game Pass. So there you yeah, go. Everyone and- can play it for free. Yeah, and Switch. Ooh. Yeah, cool. It's, it's, it's in it's in one p, uh, no <laughs> frames per second on Switch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, what else? Treasure Hunter Simulator. That sounds fun. Uh, <laughs> dive, dive into the exciting world of finding long lost, long forgotten treasures. Grab your metal detector and set off to explore the countryside. What today looks like a peaceful meadow might have been the scene of a fierce battle in the past, hiding now the valuable artifacts. Oh come on! Like, <laughs> what is it? Literally gonna? It is literally a metal detector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who, who's fun. asked for this? Who wants this game? I don't know. Not me. <laughs> no, nor me neither. It's all. It's always in the pop up every every month. I don't know why. why who wants these? If he's buying them. Like, know, there. Must, yeah, just go out with an actual metal detector. You might as well, right? It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, I can't um, be asked to go out today. I'm just gonna do it digit <laughs> like virtually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else have we got? What's this? Walden, a game. <laughs> <laughs> God Almighty. <laughs> Exploratory narrative and open world simulation of the life of American philosopher Harry David. That guy. Cool. No thanks. Uh, wow, that sound. There's some real crap coming out this month. Yeah, sure is. Um, I think he spoke about this one before. East Nine, not a definite me game JRPG. I think he's already out on console, coming out on PC. Nice. Cool. PC and Switch apparently there. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, oh god. Uh, yeah, PC, PS4, and Switch. I think he's already out on PS4 and Switch. Uh, okay. Coming out on PC. Now, I believe. Cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Crash Drive 3. Nice. Crash <laughs> Drive 3. Coming out on literally everything, including iOS, Android, Switch, PS5, Xbox Series X, Android <laughs> calculator. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, explore, oh, it's a sequel. Explore a colourful open world, perform incredible stunts, customise your race car, compete in a variety of fun games, or just goof off and hunt for secrets. More to I play bet and fun that game is rubbish. Yeah. Yeah, so, Fortnite, Fortnite yeah. for cars. Let's have a controller. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You know what, it's probably a bit of fun. You know what, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah. It's like a Better poor onrush. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> A bit of a battle Thanks. mode in there as well. That looks okay. Yeah. Hey, maybe we're too quick to shit on these games. Maybe, maybe. It looks, it looks it, okay. It doesn't actually look terrible. Yeah. Fair play. Good job, Crash Drive 3. Yeah, we, we're sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh-huh. Let's just have a quick look at police stories. Oh, God, yeah. The Xbox One um, exclusive we're waiting for. That's not an Xbox One game, is it? I'm not sure. Oh, God, no. It died. Come on. Come back. Here we are. Oh, uh, it is. Police stories. Xbox One. Yeah, I've just won seven days left. Um, oh, not everything else as well, it looks like. Oh, it came out on everything else a couple of years ago. Now I'm coming to Xbox One. So it looks so like GTA people, people 1. <laughs> yeah. People, people have been demanding it, so now it's finally coming to uh, Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it looks like GTA slash... Um, what's that game called? I have it on my Switch as well. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> There's okay. two of them. It's like, uh, a top, it's like a top-down view like that. Oh, um, Hotline Miami. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Good game. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably all right. It looks very indie. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the most indie. <laughs> yeah. Look at the front cover's amazing. <laughs> it really is. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, oh, yes. July 9th, Monster Hunter Stories 2. That got announced at E3. Coming out now already. Uh, basically, a spin off of Monster Hunter. Yeah. Like a single player story kind of thing. Looks nice. It does look nice, yeah. Yeah, nice, chill, relaxing game about murdering and just monsters. I didn't even know there was a Monster <laughs> Hunter Stories 1, to be honest. I think it was on like PSP or Vita or something. Wow, okay. I think about it in the Vita, yeah. Something like that. But yeah, if you be Monster Hunter Japan, that'll be a fun game for you. Too complicated for me. Couldn't do it. The Switch one, Monster Monster Hunter Rise, is not um, anywhere near as complicated as World. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I may want to try that one. Or maybe I want to buy it, put it on my shelf, and not play it like everything else. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, hello. <laughs> Little Witch Academia uh, VR Room Racing. Of course. Um, so I'll do this, guys. Hunt for ghosts and become the best witch racer in the in the world! Exclamation mark experience. The thrill of flight across more than a dozen tracks. Mr. Space there. 
Um, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Flying through rings. Um, but like Superman 64. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. What a hell of a game. Um, yeah, that's just you're just a witch flying through. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Terrifying character model. Look at that. Jesus. Good God. <laughs> Scary. So yeah, that's 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 uh, chunderific. That is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't play that. You suffer from uh, uh, vertigo. Motion sickness. Motion sickness. That's the one. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, Space Jam. Hell yeah. That's out like today, actually. It says. Oh, it is? Um, it, yeah, it comes out today for. Game Pass Ultimate members, like a perk. Right. Okay. I've not even seen any gameplay from it. I have just sort of know that it's coming out. Uh, I think it's a 2D um, fight and beat em up like that. Yeah. Like a Street Rage kind of thing. Yeah. Bugs Bunny and LeBron James. I, mean, uh, I remember the original Space Jam game from the PlayStation. Oh, yeah. It sucked. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this looks all right. It haven't gone too, like, tried to make it too fancy or complicated. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a nice classic 2D beam up. Yeah, I'll have a look. It's gonna be. It's free anyway. It's gonna be free. Yeah. So. Why not? Yeah. Cool. Um, and of course, perhaps one of the biggest games of the month: uh, Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword HD uh, for the Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. um, it's Zelda. It's gonna be great. I, I really like the original on the Wii. Some people didn't. These people are stupid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but not. yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It's got a very unique um, motion control system, which actually worked really well. Um, and yeah, it's a really, really good Zelda game. Looking forward to it. I, I assume you can use motion controls with this one as well. Oh yeah, you need to drive control it. Um, and it does have its own like button controls you can use if you don't fancy the um, motion controls. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll be buying that. Well, looks good. Can't wait. Uh, more Zelda is good Zelda. Uh, F1 2021 or 2 is coming out as well. Oh yeah, 2021 there is. Yeah. Uh, EA have got hold of it now. So it's still the, it's still going to be the guys who make the the other ones, which is Codemasters. But of course EA own Codemasters. So uh, yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, of course they do, yeah. Hmm, interesting. That's going to be on everything, of course. Yeah. Nice. Good F1 fans out there. Yeah, and will be good. I'm sure it will, yeah. People love these games. Yeah. Uh, Chris Tales, that looks like a game for me. Uh, a gorgeous indie love letter to classic JRPGs with a new perspective. Uh, Chris Tales, a woo! -woo. <laughs> Chris Tales! <laughs> um, yeah, turn based RPG. Looks alright. Looks alright. Nice art style, quite like that. Yeah, it looks alright, like a classic uh, cartoon kind of thing. Yeah. I like it. Um, Mini else? motorways. I wonder if that's the same as because um, oh, yeah. I've got a game on Switch that's um, like a similar. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, I think it might be the exact same game actually. Oh right. Oh no, wait. The one I've got is Railway Lines. Ah. Oh. So obviously this is a that, that, that's on Switch, um, but this is you know just the same sort of thing, but with motorways. Cool. Cool. Designing a roadmap for Gwyn City. It's actually it really good. Really yeah, it sounds really boring when you read it really like that. But oh yeah, the boring as shit. But um, <laughs> when you play fun. it, it's actually really addictive and quite quite relaxing to play as well, actually. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Cool. Um, well, that's why I'm at 40,000. I always like the box art of these games. But it always turned out to be like super boring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, you know, I'll never forgive Warhammer for uh, just me getting slaughtered on YouTube by Warhammer nerds. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll uh, teach me. <laughs> I dare you not be a nerd, Sonny. I know. What are you doing? The game <laughs> fucking sucked, though. Yeah, it wasn't I was great. having none of the nerds trying to justify it to me in the comments. <laughs> oh, you just don't understand. No, I do understand. I understand that it's a terrible game. <laughs> you have to have a certain uh, mindset for it, I suppose. That's to be a certain kind of nerd <laughs> to uh, Yeah, back under your bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's more the same, more top-down uh, strategy games. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's Play Halo fun. Wars or something, it's way better. Yeah, I agree. Or what's the Gears of War one? It's called Gears of Gears Wars. Gears of War Tactics, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's good as well. well. Gears of <laughs> Wars, that's what it should have been called. Gears of Wars. <laughs> How lazy would that be, though? <laughs> yeah, it's Gears Wars. Really? You couldn't get anything better than that? No, no, no it, it works. Yeah, it does work, yeah, Gears of Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Urban Trial Tricky. Sure, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel like there's millions of these t star, uh, stars of games. Yeah. 
It's like a trials kind of thing, it looks like. Yeah, all copying trials, always on the Switch. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's on PS4 as well. And Xbox. Hmm. Well, won't be as good as trials, just by trials. Oh, probably not, yeah, just, just stick with trials. Um, now it's said that it's going to be like the best review game of the year. Yeah, it? it is, yeah. Better than trials. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, here we go, the game we talked about earlier. Neo, The World Ends With You, coming out yep. on the um, 27th. Look forward sequel, to that. Sequel, of course, to The World Ends With You. They just put a different word at the front. Yeah, very strange. Very cool art style. It looks nice. It looks like super awesome. Great yeah. music. Looks like the first one. And yeah, can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Go check out the intro on YouTube. It's bloody amazing. Or just download uh, the demo on your PlayStation. Yeah, all that. Yeah, to do that. Or Switch. I think it's on Switch as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. Light Simulator coming to Xbox, look. Yeah, there it is. Coming to Xbox. Don't... don't, don't yeah, can't play it on my PC, so I have to buy it on Xbox. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, man, yes. that's coming out. You get to fly places because we about. can't do it in real life at the minute. So, I mean, look <laughs> at it, mate. It looks so good. It's insane. Look at that. That's just, like, that's just a picture, surely. I mean, it just looks like <laughs> a picture, doesn't it? It does. It's amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, wow. I mean, it'll look less cool than that when I'm basically can't take off and <laughs> because the controls are so goddamn <laughs> difficult. Yeah. <laughs> My it's Boeing 747 is literally flying sideways. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, I mean, look at that. that. It's crazy. Bloody hell. It's amazing. Uh, amazing. Uh, amazing. Um, oh, Ace Attorney. I like that. Ace Attorney. Um, so yeah, new Ace Attorney games, I guess. Or are they remasters? Um, uh, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. That's going to be a remaster, right? Yeah, I think it is. Yes, it is. Um, but yeah, I love the Ace games. I haven't played them in you, ages. So on you, can the get DS. The, you can get the Phoenix Wright games on Switch, can't you? Uh, yeah, I think they came out for about on Switch. I think PlayStation now as well. Um, I need to play those again because they're really, really good. Classic mm. uh, DS games. Yeah. Cool. Um, Samurai Warriors 5, they're still making them. They're still coming out. And Samurai Warriors and Dynasty Warriors, they're still making them. I mean, there's a million of those games. <laughs> yeah, in, in between spin offs like the Zelda ones and Persona ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're still making them somehow. They're all the same, just in different skins. Pretty much. <laughs> the graphics get better with every console, but it's the same game. Yeah. It's all fun, though. Yeah, sure, yeah. I mean, I played uh, Hyrule Warriors, which I thought was really good. Yeah. I used to play all the Dynasty Warriors games in the PS2. I think I had two, three, four, and five. They're so, all the same game, but you played They're all identical, yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> 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 fun. Um... And I think... Oh, The Ascent comes out this month as well. That looks good. The Ascent? Oh, yeah. So the that is like a, um, it's like a top-down um, twin-stick shooter type thing. It looks really oh, good, man. It looks really good. It's an Xbox Ooh, exclusive good. for now, I think. But it's... Uh, yeah. It's like a, a neon oh. cyberpunky type future. You can tell by the screenshots there. But yeah, I mean, it looks super pretty and looks really good fun. Fast-paced action shooter type game. But it looks great. Oh, it's awesome. I have it pre-installed on my Xbox. I'm really looking forward to that one. Oh, nice. Is it on Game Pass or do you have to buy that one? Yeah, yeah, Game Pass, yeah. Oh, wow. It's up going to PC. Bring it yep. across. Um, cool. Elder Scrolls Souls. That definitely isn't a rip-off of uh, Dark Souls. Def- definitely not, no. <laughs> uh, I think it's a like 2D... Oh, that's all right. Like a 2D version of it. Yeah. Uh, Changing Pixel Art Boss Rush game. Oh, God, blah, blah. I think I've heard it. I think it's just already out on PC or something. I mean, sure. early access on PC, I think. I've heard of it. I think I've seen a lot of it. Looks pretty alright. Looks pretty alright. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. I'd let it. Okay. Um, and that's about it. Pokemon Unite, I think I'd say uh, mobile game, isn't it? I don't know. Is it? No, I've not heard of that one. Uh, yeah, Android, iOS, and Switch. Yeah. It's a strategic team battle game being developed by the Pokemon company, obviously. It's coming out on Switch. And Switch as well, yeah. Wow. Hmm, that could be fun. I, I bet it's one of the free ones because they do sort of tend to do that. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, this looks okay. Yeah, it's all right. Hey, if it's free on Switch, I'll give it a go. Oh yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, that? Oh, that, that sounds interesting. Yeah, and hopefully uh, Resident Evil. I'll say hopefully, uh, Resident Evil Rebirth should come out this month. It's not been confirmed. It's not been given a specific date. Um, but it should does anyone be care out. about it? No. Right, okay. right. <laughs> it's a game that came with uh, Resident Evil 5 as a multiplayer game. Yeah. The beta was super basic. It had some fun ideas, but. You mean Resident Evil 8? Yeah, that's one. That's the one. <laughs> okay, you can get something they confused. I don't know why. 
Easy um, mistake to make. Yeah. It looks alright. It's it plays fine. It'll, it'll be popular for like a month and then people will stop playing it. I give it less than a month. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, that, I, I'm Claire, not going to lie, it looks off. awful. Yeah, Claire looks a bit off there, doesn't she? I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, it's like like a, like a bit. Go, go to that last screenshot again. It's like it's a bit of like, or the one before that, actually. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it was that one. Um, like, it's like it's a bit of cell shaded stuff going on in here. Yeah, I think I think there is a I think it default it's default oh, anyhow. <laughs> it defaults to like a cell shaded mode where people, people complain because it looked a bit weird, so they uh gave an option to remove it if they wanted to. But the thing is nobody wants these games. I don't understand why they even attempt it. Yeah, it's weird, I'm not sure. Yeah. It's just like they they got took all the classic environments, just stuck a bunch of enemies and players in there. Thought, hey, go just, play go go figure it out. It's Call of Duty free for all, but you get to play as the dad from Resident <laughs> Evil 7. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we all know what game of the month is. Uh, obviously. <laughs> that one right from the very top that I can't even remember the name of. Me neither. Um, wait, here we go, it's coming. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, that one. Possessant of Cal Calvary. Yeah! <laughs> With the gr greatest screenshot of all time. This now it's going to come up. There it is. Um, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to be boarded. I can't. I can't get over it. I can't. <laughs> and naked, and the guy standing there with a sword, saying, "Prepare to be boarded." <laughs> uh, so the good. greatest game of all time. Yeah. What does that one say? Thanks for giving. Thanks for giving me. <laughs> thanks for giving me a ride. I never would have got this far south on foot. <laughs> after being boarded. There you go. Yeah. Wow, that game looks fucking awful. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it's obviously a comedy game. Um, oh yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> yeah. That looks so stupid. <laughs> now I want to uh, play it though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's about it. I think that's about it. Four games. There we go. That's games month. of the month. Perfect timing. Thank you, music. Yeah, great. Good stuff, music. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that's that. In all seriousness, I think probably Plague Tale is up there for uh, for one of the better games that are coming out this month. Uh, yeah, I think Flight Simulator. Yeah, Zelda. There is Zelda and uh, the one for you for me as well. Yeah. So there's, yeah. there's some good there's, there's some good stuff coming out this month, but a lot of yeah. crap as well. Yeah, most, most months really. <laughs> a lot of good, a lot of crap. Yeah, yeah, basically the same as every month. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, prepare to be boarded. I can't get over it. <laughs> Can't get over it. That's going to be the uh, the art this week. The uh, thumbnail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what Seth Rollins think about that? <laughs> <laughs> he seems happy. He seems pretty happy. Um, <laughs> right. So, um, because there's no eliminator this week, because otherwise it'd be me on my own answering Finn's questions. <laughs> um, we're going to bring back the game heap instead. Yeah. The game. Heep. Heep. we're going fancy with it we're now now that we've got this new now that we've discovered that we can do different things with Streamyard, we're uh we, you know we're going fancy we're going big time that's oh, yeah. us big time that's us big time getting grabs yeah boom big time right. games and grabs and here we go <laughs> so here is the game heap for this week Hell so yeah. if you're looking at this um, you've got legend, decent, bang average, lacking, and crap. Yes, indeed. And this is from the website Tier Maker. We can make your own little tiers. Shout um, out Tier Maker. Shout out Tier Maker. And so yeah, we have we, we, this week we're doing Dreamcast games. Yeah, our favorite and least favorite Dreamcast games. Um, so I'll start. So the first game I've got on here is the first game I played on Dreamcast. I think it came with with Dreamcast. It's a uh, Choo Choo it Rocket, a fun little uh, puzzle game in, in, uh, involving rescuing mice. From cats, it's fun. Yeah, um, it is fun. Yeah, it's um, actually a really good game. Mm. Yeah, you were right in what you're saying. Bundled in with the Dreamcast, um, I would say it's decent. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It's not going to blow one's mind, but it is a lot of fun. And for for a uh, boxed in game, it's really good. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, definitely. Was it one of them ones that were meant to um, sort of show off the Dreamcast online capabilities as well? I can't remember. Yeah, I think you might be right. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Good game, good fun. Yeah, really good. Cool. And next up, let's go for Sonic Adventure, of course. I mean, you know, it's so good. Still yeah. good now. Um, 
it's I think it's I mean it's probably the best 3D Sonic game. Yeah. Two is a close maybe it's close, but <laughs> I think it's I think it's legend. Yeah, I give it I to be it was the first ish, first proper three D Sonic game. Mm. Uh, and they set the bar pretty high. I have very fond memories playing that. Yeah. Back in the day. Good times. So yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd agree with that. Times. I'd say Legend as well. Uh, and then of course you got the sequel, Sonic Adventure 2. Which again, I think is really good. Um, after this is when it starts to really go downhill. But Sonic yeah, Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2, I would... They're, they're both legend, I think. The, le- the level design is amazing in both. Yeah, so good. And, and it introduced Shadow as well. In yeah. our mainstay. Oh yeah, Chaos definitely. Control. Good times. Good times. Uh, cool. What have we got next? Oh, yes, another classic. Of course, Crazy Taxi. I think everyone had. On oh yeah, man. Back in the day. Yeah, Crazy Taxi is one of those games that everybody everybody knows, whether they're like a gamer or they're not. Like yeah. everybody knows Crazy Taxi. All you got, all you got to say to them is, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, ah, Crazy Taxi. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go make some crazy money. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. <laughs> Expect to see that on a, uh, a clipped out video. Cheers, Quinny. Yep. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, so, yeah. regardless of you know how short the game is or how little content there is in the game, Crazy Taxi is a legendary game. It's very good, yeah. Uh, I'd be tempted to put it in decent, but I see if we can. Yeah, I'll put it in like, legend. It's one of those games everyone knows. By the way, the Dreamcast fucking ruled, all right? Yeah, um, right. I will hear no bad mouth of the Dreamcast from anybody ever because <laughs> it's just got so many great games on it. It was like a little arcade machine. Yeah, it was. Because basically really anything cool. that Sega brought out in the arcades, they just threw onto the Dreamcast. They did. They did indeed. Speaking of, one of probably the best arcade port out on the Dreamcast, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's a controversial statement. Mm. In my opinion. <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, it's great. Capcom 2. It is. It's great. I, I don't know if it's legend. Mm. Capcom. That's what it's, I it's decent <laughs> and it's re- it's really good. I mean, I would put it in decent, but if you would put it in legend, I wouldn't be against it. Um, mm, I'm tempt- I'll am i put it in decent for now. I might change my mind later. But I, I played that game a lot. I, I wasn't a big fighting game fan uh, back then. Still not really. Mm. Uh, I, and, and less the mood strikes me. Uh, but I played this game a lot. I played this game a hell of a lot. So much fun. Yeah, man. It's um, good. Yeah, really good. I leave, I leave it in decent for now, but I might change my mind. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's get with Crazy Taxi 2. Did you play the second one much? As much as the first? Not as much as the first, no. Because um, there was three, wasn't there? There's a Crazy Taxi 3 that was on the Xbox. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. Uh, which I, I don't have any memory of at all. No, um, same. I think it was like in a, a fictional Las Vegas Crazy Taxi 3. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't remember. Um, I don't have much memory of the second one. Obviously, the gameplay doesn't, you know, drift too much from the first one. But, mm. you know, I have better memories of the first one. So, it's obviously good. Yeah. Um, it's it's not bang average. It's uh, it's decent. I would say it's decent. Yeah, I'd say decent. Just because, like, yeah, I think, I've, I think I've owned it, but I've rented it a few times. Mm. Um, remember that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, got renting games. Renting games? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'll say decent. Um, it doesn't stay out to me as much as the first one. No. That was a proper classic. I definitely I definitely had it, but I don't think... I mean, there's no way I played it as much as the first one. Yeah, same. I played the first one as, as recent as last year. <laughs> nice. I got it on my phone, actually. Works quite <clears throat> well. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Um, let's go with... What's going next? Let's go with House of the Dead 2. Do you ever have that okay. on Dreamcast? Yes. Um, I also had Typing of the Dead. Yes, I need to mention that. I've got that on there as well. Um, okay, well, um, I love House of the Dead. Me too. I, I love those old coin-up games where you have a light gun and you just shoot shit. <laughs> yeah. Cost you loads of pounds that, you know, more than you would actually pay for the console version of the game. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, House of the Dead, you know, it's decent. Yeah, I think decent. The voice yeah. acting is hilarious. Oh, the voice acting <laughs> is so bad. <laughs> but um, yeah that's a good game that's a really good game I love those kind of games that's what the Dreamcast was great for it had yeah. all these arcade ports and it, yeah it was just awesome man yeah I agree so much fun give us a, dream, give us a Dreamcast mini and <laughs> yeah. just put all these games on it 
Yeah, do it. Give us a little like on as well so we can play House of the Dead. Be yeah. <laughs> and also give us a little keyboard so we can play t- Typing of the Dead. It's another game we both owned, I think. Right. Typing of the Dead absolutely rules. Now, yep. the concept <laughs> sounds mental. So <laughs> basically, Dreamcast, you can have a keyboard, like a, mm-hmm. like a keyboard peripheral. It was literally a keyboard, like a keyboard. So yeah. <laughs> you just plug it in, <laughs> sat it on your lap like a keyboard, like you're at work or some shit. And you basically just typed in what was on the screen to kill the zombies in House of the Dead. Yeah, it's the best. It's <laughs> the weirdest concept for a game of all time. Mm-hmm. But it worked and it was just awesome. It's legendary for that reason alone. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. I don't think I had it on Dreamcast, but I did have it on PC. Um, my old fashioned uh, PC. Yeah, I had it on Dreamcast. <laughs> I had a Dreamcast keyboard and shit. It was awesome. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I'd agree. It's so much fun in a stupid way. But towards the end, it got really hard as well. Like, typing out this like, massive it's sentences. It's so hard. It's like, uh, duh. <laughs> I, I fancy my chances at it now because I can type real quick. Yeah, I'll play it again. We need to dig that out. Yeah, we could do like a we we'll do like a uh, typing of the dead high score off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good idea actually. And we'll get uh, Cockney to um, judge it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. We'll have to get him. We'll get him involved. Yeah. Hey up! Oh, there he is. <laughs> Wasn't talking <laughs> to me. Uh, yeah, we'll get him involved. That'd be fun. <laughs> maybe, maybe if we can if we can dig it out, we can get. We can set some scores and mention it next week on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. Holy shit, man. Typing of the Dead. What a game. Oh, yeah. Um, so I also dug out some wrestling games because, you know. Of course. Podcast. Games yeah. across podcast. Of course. Uh, so I found uh, WWF Royal Rumble, which I don't think I actually played back in the day. But I think I haven't um, played it since. I really like this game. This, this again, was an arcade game. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the arcade mode, sorry, the Royal Rumble mode was very arcadey. You could play through like a, an arcade style, um, you know, a gauntlet. And it was basically, it was, you know, run, run off the same engine as SmackDown 2. All right, okay. But the graphics were a bit more polished and a little bit smoother. Um, hmm. But it, it, again, it was very arcadey. It didn't have like an in depth career mode or anything like that. It was very much sort of like quick hit type stuff. Yeah. But okay. with that said, it was good. Um, it's not legend. I would say it's, it's I would say it's decent. Decent? Yeah. Okay, I'll go with you then. Uh, I haven't played it enough to uh, make a choice, but I'll go with you. Same if you've still got a Dreamcast, seek it out, because it's really not a terrible game at all. Cool. And it has cool little like cool little entrances as well. Like they, so it's like, they're, like, they're pretty much like Flash entrances, where they, you see their pose and hear a little bit of their music. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, that's a cool game. Awesome. Good stuff. Um what should we go with next? Let's go with Resident Evil Code Veronica. A game I played mm. a lot of. Uh, yeah, that's a good That's a good game, man. Yeah, I'd put, definitely put it up there with uh, 2 and 3. To me, yeah. 2, 3 and Code Veronica were my favourites back in the day. Are they remaking it? Did I read that? Is, are they uh, it's doing, like, uh, giving it the Resident Evil 3, 2 treatment? Uh, I hope to do. But I don't think it's been officially announced. It's been rumoured a lot, but yeah, mm. we don't know. I hope so. Uh, I think Code Veronica goes into Legend just because of how good it is, how playable it still is now. Yeah. Um, and this was this was originally just on Dreamcast, wasn't it? Uh, originally, yeah. It did come out with Code Veronica X on PS2. Yeah. And I think GameCube and stuff as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, originally just on Dreamcast. Yeah. I love this. Dreamcast yeah. rules. Yeah. Played it a lot. Had a lot. So good. Um, what else? Let's go for uh, Hydro Thunder. Have you ever played this one? I don't know. It is a boat racing game. Oh, yes, oh, I have that in which case. Um, oh, Katie. Um, I, there was a game similar to this on the PlayStation as well. Yeah. I don't know what it was right. called Rapid Racers or something. Oh, um, yeah. I have played this. It's it's one of them games. It's okay. Yeah, I, I put it bang average. It wasn't bad. I did enjoy it back in the day. Um, I think yeah, it's, I think it's just literally all. another arcade game, another arcade port. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I'd say bang average for that one. Yeah, I, I, I can I can get on board with that. Yeah. Right. Um, let's go with <laughs> Legend uh, already. Who wants to be a millionaire? Boosh. Hey, Next. look. Right. <laughs> I I liked these games. <laughs> cool. Is this the one that had like the virtual Chris Tarrant where he like looked like really weird? I think so. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> it's it's just at the end of the day, it's a quiz game. No frills. Yeah. Quiz game based on the popular TV show. Um, fun. If you played it now, you probably wouldn't remember any of the answers because they're old questions. <laughs> but I would say it's you know, 
it's probably bang average. Yeah, I probably agree with that. I don't. I think back in the day, I was too young to understand any questions. Then I got very far. It just made me hate it. <laughs> so we go back like ten years, or probably more than ten years, twenty years out. Yeah, or fifteen years, I guess. Um, but I'll put it there. But I'd agree with you. It's probably more like. Like it's yeah. average, not bad. Played the most, played the most recent one actually on on PlayStation because they brought one out last oh, yeah. year. Oh right, okay. Um, it? It's good. It's very no frills and it's very cheap looking and not made that great. But <laughs> you know the actual quiz element of it is actually very fun. Cool, awesome. Um, have you ever played uh, eighteen wheeler? Eighteen wheeler. Yep, I have played eighteen yes. wheeler, <laughs> and I loved eighteen wheeler. I wasn't. I haven't played it myself. Um, oh man, it's so good! It's just a tr- an American trucking arcade game. Again, nice. pulled straight out of the arcade. Um, looks like every other Sega arcade game. It's got that very arcadey look, like Crazy Taxi and those other type of games. But yeah, eighteen wheeler. Um, it's so good. They have like little <laughs> bonus mini games where you have to park your trailer and stuff like that. All right, but, that sounds fun. Yeah, it's I love it, and I still love it now. If I if I could play it now, I would. Because it's great. <laughs> if I had a Dreamcast, this would be one of the games I would have. Nice. Awesome. Um, it's decent. Yeah. It's I you can't put it a legend because you know it's just an arcade game at the end of the day. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I, it's definitely decent. It's uh, yeah, it's one of them games. It's, it's got it brings back good memories. A lot of these games do bring back good memories for me because again, you know, I love the Dreamcast. Still love mm. it now. Um, it holds a very special place in my heart. Does that console? Awesome. Uh, yeah, it's one I never got around to, but I heard a lot of people talking about it. So I wasn't sure. It was that good or not, but apparently, yeah, I'd, I'd take over that. I need to play it myself at some point for sure. Good Definitely times. do. Uh, let's get to another wrestling one. Uh, how about ECW Anarchy Walls? <sighs> it's probably straight and crap, to be honest. Yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> Again, it's not what I played at the time, but I did go back to it and yeah. I think we yeah. probably put, I can't remember where we put it um, when we did the wrestling games. Yeah, I think it was towards the bottom, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. I think as a Dreamcast game, I'd put it in crap. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, compared to the other games on there, ECW Anarchy Rules is not the one you would play. No, definitely not. Not my first choice. Or no. my 14th choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Let's go for another classic. I'm pretty sure it's going to go straight in Legend. Shenmue? Legend, straight away. No yeah. other... <laughs> no, nothing never... You know, don't even need to say anything about it. It's just a genre-defining game. Yep. Yeah. It's mind blowing at the time. There's nothing else like it. Completely no, insane. It was just totally, totally original. Like nothing you'd ever seen before. Obviously, mm-hmm. originally it was meant to, it was, you know, started life as a Virtua Fighter RPG. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, merged into you know what we know as Shenmue today. And it's just, uh, it you know, it's it's just such a it's just such a wonderful game, and it's still a great game now. Yeah. Uh, if you go back, if you haven't ever played it before, and you're used to modern games, if you're perhaps a little bit younger, mm-hmm. uh, when you try to play it, you'd hate it. And like, wow, how is it ever possible? Like, people hate Semi Three for that reason because they never played the originals. Yeah. Um, but like, to give a comfort, back in our day, back in our day, if you're as old as we are, uh, this was uh, mind blowingly awesome. Yeah, these and were cutting is, edge, man. You know, yeah. Shenmue One, Shenmue Two, and Shenmue Three obviously, tr- you know, went for the you know the same control style. And, you know, basically the same type thing with the voice acting and everything. So I can understand why people, you know, new to Shemu wouldn't like it. But, you know, they're, they're, they are great games. Yeah. It's simple. Uh, of course, I got the two in there as well. Because, of course. Two's legendary. Uh, I yeah. always say it on this podcast, but obviously in this country, we couldn't get it in English until it came yeah. out on the Xbox. It was just Japanese. It was indeed, yeah. I, remember that. I, bought, it, I bought it day one from Game World in Hinkley. I think I did as well. Our game world. It's still open. I went there. I don't, I, unbelievable. Week. I can't believe it's still open. Fair play. Yeah. yeah. Great. Shout great out game world, man. Yeah, I think I sold my Mega Drive there. Nice. <laughs> yeah. A lot of memories. Um, Absolutely. Cool. Uh, let's go for South Park Rally. Do you ever play that one? Yeah, I've played it. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping it straight in crap. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's really it's, bad. It's around the time that everyone was making a go kart game because of Mario Kart. Yeah, um, and there was yeah, South still... Park everything as well. You had like Chef's <laughs> yeah. Love Shack, uh, <laughs> which was like a mini games game, um, and you had that other South Park game, it was like a first person game where you could like throw snowballs as weapons. Yeah, yeah. I think that was his one. Yeah, um, but yeah, South Park Rally not good at all. 
It's not good. No. Nope. No. Bad times. Um, what else? Let's go for... Let's go for one of me, a me kind of game. I don't think you've ever played. But a very good game nonetheless. Okay. Uh, Grandia 2. Classic JRPG. Okay. Uh, I haven't played on, it, but um, I've heard th- I've heard good things about it. Yeah. First one was on PS1. Uh, this was a 2D game. This one's a proper 3D uh, JRPG. And it's really, really good. I played this a hell of a lot back in the day. They eventually came out on PS2 as well. Um, I really enjoyed it. Fair enough. Between putting it in legend and decent. Um, I'll put it in decent. Not quite super epic because it's like a Final Fantasy or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm keeping it in decent. But it's, it's an excellent game. I like it a lot. Okay. Let's, let's go for uh, Space Channel 5. Did you play legend. Fun? Straight away. Legend. <laughs> what a game. Yeah, iconic. Is it, this is again. These are these these kind of games are synonymous with the Dreamcast. Yeah, know? exactly. Um, Ulala is an iconic Sega character at this point. Yep. And those games, they're not terrible. There's, I think, there's two of them, especially on five, one and two. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, man, I like them. I, 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 they were just they were just good, harmless fun. Yeah, exactly. But they're legendary for you know what they stand for you know for, for the fact that they are you know right up there with sega legend you know yeah because it's a yeah as you say it's, it's synonymous with dreamcast you think of dreamcast you think of guys like you know you think of like yeah. sonic um a crazy taxi shenmue and yeah yeah because yeah, she's in um <laughs> sonic all-stars racing isn't she <laughs> she, she is yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so is rio and a, a forklift oh yeah <laughs> so he is that's a great game. Good game. Uh, good game. Um, have you ever played Res? Yep. Um, I have played Res. I really liked it as well. Mm. Um, because I've, I've played the more recent one, Res Infinite. It's on yeah. PlayStation. It's just a VR game, which is uh, it's a bit of a trippy VR game, but it's good. Uh, yeah, I would say decent. It's a really great rhythm game. Yeah, really good. I think I played the. I think we released it on Xbox 360 Arcade. I think it's well. Yeah, that's right. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Really good game. Yeah, I like Res. Um, really quirky for its time as well. There wasn't really anything like mm. it. Uh, I mean, rhythm games weren't really a big thing at this point. Um, no. Obviously, PlayStation 2 wasn't big at this time. So Guitar Hero wasn't around. I know we had like Buster, Buster Groove and stuff like that on PlayStation. Oh, yeah. and Parappa the Rapper and Jamma Lammy, that kind of thing. But um, Res was a different kind. And it was like... Um, yeah, it was just, it's a really cool game. If you've not played yeah. Res, you can play Res Infinite on PlayStation, and I recommend it. Yeah, it could be ahead of its time, I'd say. I'd say so, yeah, that, I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, we really enjoyed that when I played it. Um, let's go for another me game, Skies of Arcadia, another classic uh, JRPG. Uh, I think it came out on uh, GameCube as well at some point, later down the line. <laughs> uh, basically, you're a, a group of pirates sailing around the world. Uh, in a very anime style um, turn based RPG. I like yeah, it a lot, heard, I'd say. I heard good things about this as well. Again, you know, when I had a Dreamcast, this kind of thing wasn't really on my radar. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, but, but yeah, I played yeah. that decent as well. Not quite as legendary as some other uh, top tier JRPGs, but still a lot of fun. Yeah, man. Skies of Arcadia, not quite Space Channel 5. <laughs> not quite. It's close, but not quite. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Skies of Arcadia. Grandia 2, mm, almost. Yeah, but you know ooh la la, so you don't <laughs> yeah, make it. Yeah, i <laughs> uh, How about uh, Jet Set Radio? Play it's Legend. Legend? Yep. Yeah. It's, it's so good. I'd play it now. If they if they <laughs> brought that out again, I'd play it. Yeah, I'd say. As, as another one, they say like, like uh, all these other games, there's another one you think of when you think of Dreamcast, you think of yep. Jet Set Radio. Yep. Crazy Taxi, Shemu, Jet Set Radio, Space Channel 5. You know, the they Dreamcast has some <laughs> angers. Yeah, it really does. Oh, some real bangers, but it's a, it that's a, um, yeah, that's another really great game. That's a, it was super original as well. Basically, just a guy on rollerblades tagging up the place. Yeah, and be good. yeah, it's just um, just really good. Yeah, so fun. Um, next up, I've got Mr. Driller, fun little puzzle game. Did you play that one? Um, I think it's on the PlayStation Classic. You know that? Yeah, I think it is actually. Yeah. Um, so yeah, in which case very... I have played it, but I don't, I don't have memory of it. I, I've been, I've, I've got a PlayStation Classic and probably played it fairly recently. But um, I'd say it's probably it's decent. I, I mean, I, I think it'd be harsh on it to say it's bang average. Yeah, maybe we need one. We need one between decent and bang average. Maybe. Um, yeah. Maybe next time. 
But no, yeah, I'd not... say. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd say decent for now. Yeah, in the interest of fairness, I think maybe put it in because it's not. You know, it's better. It's obviously better than Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's take decent for now. We the next time we'll get we'll get another one in between decent and bang average, I reckon. Yeah. What what do we call it? Like not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Not quite decent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not or quite, ab- above, above average. There you go. Perfect. Above, above average, decent, pleasant. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Cool. Next time we'll get that. But yeah, I remember enjoying Mr. Driller back in the day. I think, I think it was another arcade game. You say ports over? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Fun game. Very Japanese. That's what, Very you know, Japanese. hence why it's on <laughs> PlayStation and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Very uh, early but, PlayStation as well, I believe. Yeah, I think so. There's an innocent little cute puzzle game. Yeah. Uh, last one I have here is classic fighting game, Soul Calibur. Uh, for me, I mean, this this was a huge deal at the time. Because mm. obviously you had Soul Blade on PlayStation. Yeah. And then Soul Calibur came along and it was exclusive to Dreamcast. Um, and then, of course, they, they the rest of them were on everything, I think. Yeah, so there was... So I remember it being on... Was it on PlayStation? Soul Calibur 2? 2 was on GameCube, I think. GameCube and Xbox, because... Definitely on those two, because one had Star Wars and one had something else. Yeah. Hold on. So, I'll let but to PS2. We got a PS2. Um, oh, we did. Yeah. Oh, we did. The, yeah, different couch, didn't they? Because yeah, GameCube had um, Link. Yeah. Yeah. Did, was, so, it, yeah Link's P- was it PlayStation and... that had um, Star Wars? Oh, it was, it was a Hayashi. Was, that, was he on... What yeah, that happen? makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's loved it, wasn't it? Yeah. Cool. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool. But it's it's legend. I mean, there's no there's no two ways about it. It's legend. It's such a good game. Um, still super playable now. It's basically everything you know about Namco fighting games. It's it's that. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's spawned a whole bunch of games. It's still making them. Well, made one on PS4. Um, fairly recently. Yeah. And I'll totally be another one. Hopefully, there'll be another one because I really enjoy these games. Yeah, they're good games. They're really good games. Yeah, I played... What was, what was, last, what was the last one? Five? Um, yeah, I think... No, six. Six. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I played five on Xbox 360 back in the day. Uh, really we, play, we played six on stream against one another. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Enjoyed that. But yeah, I played cool. five out of a lot. Yeah. Great um, shout that's out that's... to some of the um, arcade sports Excuse games me. that Dreamcast had as well, like NFL Blitz and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Bangers, great games. Awesome. I played a uh, hockey one. I think it was on uh, GameCube. I played a lot. NHL hits was it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, I love that one. I like that you like smash people through the windows. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Th- th- those th- those kind of games that were so good. NFL Blitz yeah. was awesome. Awesome. And yeah, that's it for the game heap for this heap. Um, this week. Uh, so we've got Sonic Adventure One and Two, uh, Crazy Attack, Two, Typing of the Dead, Code Veronica. Shimmy 1 and 2, Space Channel 5, Jetset Radio, and Soul Calibur, all in Legend. Yep. Choo Choo Rocket, more Face Capcom 2, hmm, tempted to put in Legend. <laughs> um, Are you still unsure? <laughs> still unsure. It's mm, Legend, screw it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you've got Choo Rocket, Dragon Jackie 2, uh, House of the Dead 2, uh, WF Way Rumble, 18 Wheeler, Res, uh, Sky of Arcadia, Grandia 2, and Mr. Driller, all in Decent. i got Hydro Thunder, and who wants to be a millionaire in Bang Average. Nothing in Lacking, and ETW, Anarchy Wolves, and South Park Rally in crap. Awesome. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, that <laughs> worked so well. It did. It was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, that was really good. And I can't wait for the next edition of the Game Heap. Yeah, absolutely. I'll do that again very soon. Yes, definitely. We'll pick a we'll pick another topic and we'll do it that way. It works so much better. Yes, it does. Ever since I've discovered this screen sharing thing, I think there's so many, so many more ideas. Some new things we can do. There you go. See, this Look podcast is just evolving all the time. Yeah. Fun yeah. stuff. Fun stuff coming. <laughs> all the fun stuff. Yeah, man. So happy. <laughs> cool. Right. Yeah, I guess gaming stuff. We should probably talk about wrestling. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> have you have yes, you watched Wish this week? Um, you watched Raw, which was surprisingly pretty good. You <laughs> was pretty good. Um, yeah. I, I've, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Um, yeah. I just thought it was I just thought it was good fun from the off. Uh, yeah, I thought Matt too. Riddle was great. I thought so he good. was the star of the show. 
I know he didn't win the main event, but um, I thought he did. Um, I thought he did a really good job. I liked at the start when he sort of took that note to Adam Pearce and Sonia Deville. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wrote himself and pretended, obviously, that it was uh, Randy Orton. Um, so Matt Riddle stood in for Randy Orton, basically, on Raw this week um, in an attempt to um, win him a place in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Yeah. It's very because, cool. Yeah. The, so the main event was originally meant to be uh, Randy Orton versus Drew McIntyre versus... AJ Styles. AJ Styles in a um, like a last chance qualifying match to be the final member of Raw in the Money in the Bank. Mm-hmm. Randy Orton's selling the injuries from last week when the Miz sprayed him in the face. It's not as sexual as it sounds. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, so Matt Riddle was basically fighting his corner and wanted to be in the Money in the Bank. Uh, last chance qualifying triple threat match um, as Randy Orton. And... He was given that chance. He had a battle royal to start Raw, which wasn't terrible at all. Battle Royals, yeah. I usually dislike, but this one was good. Yeah, pretty good. Um, also, I want to see half an hour of Matt Riddle versus Damian Priest. Yeah, I'd be good with that. Yeah, me too. Um, so, Randy, so Matt Riddle did eventually win and insisted on um, having Randy Orton's theme music play. And there he is sort of doing his poses with all the pyro and everything like that. Really cool. You know what? People were all up against Matt Riddle when he first came up to the main roster. Oh, the character's too goofy. It's stupid. It won't work on the main roster. And great. he's one of the best parts of Raw um, yep. by some distance. So good. So good. Yeah. Um but yeah, Riddle went on to the main event um, against Drew McIntyre and AJ Styles in a triple threat match, which, by the way, was awesome. Yeah, really good. Went on for a long time as well. Went on for a really, really long match. time. And that's what I want to see. I want to see these long matches. Mm. You know, give, give the guys More time. That. Yeah, speaking of, must like um, Ricochet versus John Morrison, which was insanely awesome. It yeah, so it was. Good. There's Ricochet. <laughs> uh, there's a picture of Ricochet mid-flight about to uh, hammer John Morrison, who was sitting on the barricade, off the barricade. <laughs> that was awesome, man. That was such a cool spot. Very cool. Really, really good. Um, I love that Ricochet's getting a bit of TV time at the minute, and obviously mm-hmm. he's going to be featured on the pay-per-view at Money in the Bank, so that's going to be great. Same goes for Morrison as well. <clears throat> yeah, he's, yeah, Morrison's so good. He's been in the tag team at Miz for a while. He's only got to show off exactly all like all they can do. But yeah. he's given these moments, especially with guys like Ricochet, where really he shows like his talent. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I, that spot over the barricade was so unique and cool. And yeah, it was yeah, really good. Seems like it, and more of that, please. More of these two together, please. Yeah, next. yeah, definitely. Um, I don't hate Nikki Cross's superhero gimmick. No, at first when he saw the when he first saw the pictures on Twitter. I was like, oh god, what's this? It's so stupid. Um, but no, I, you know, I was reminded of the Hurricane and like Mighty Molly, guys like that, and they all worked well for them. So why the hell not? Yeah, yeah and I, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It's got yeah. new music. It's got a whole new like entrance setup and stuff. It was good. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, for sure. Um, Do drop, which you know they're rolling with that. I don't think for long. No. Um, here and even Marie were in action, and uh, another great showing from Do Drop. Uh, Piper Viper and um, yeah she won the match and even Marie once again declared that she'd won the match yep um, uh, you know eventually obviously we can see where this is going a mile off oh yeah big time uh, you know Dewdrop is going to sort of turn on even Marie then turn into Piper Nibbin I would imagine probably but that's cool uh, good, yeah good showing by Piper um, beating like two former women's championship champions yeah. at once pretty big deal yeah uh, definitely. I think it's going to be pushed fairly heavily hopefully I think so. Yeah, I mean, she beat them like convincingly as well. It wasn't even sort of, uh, wasn't even close. She just made yeah. them look stupid. It was great. Yeah, exactly. Big Piper fan, though. I really like her. Yeah, me too. I always have been ever since you know NXT UK even before that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's great. More of more of that, please. WWE, thank you. Yeah, definitely. But <laughs> you know what? There, there really wasn't anything to hate on Raw this week. The I thought no. the Kofi and MVP stuff was really good. Great promo. Yeah, amazing. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just you know surprised at how good it was this week. I watched it, you know, went in spoiler free. I usually sort of read Twitter and stuff like that, but I went in spoiler free, and it was just yeah, it was just a, it was a fun, easy watch this week. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I was surprised. 
I normally like to skip through it in like no time at all. Yeah. Um, but no, I actually watched most of it. I did skip Jackson Micah. Doesn't matter because people don't care about him, and he's a bit of you know. Thing is, I didn't hate that either. <laughs> no, no, I thought that was okay. You know, I don't no. think I. You know what? I'm gonna if I was to if I was to go into it not knowing that Jackson Riker could be a bit of a dick <laughs> and stuff like that, um, then I could probably get behind him because he's got a, he's got the the look of a professional wrestler. And he did, you know, yeah, he's got the look. He, in the match itself, he wasn't even bad. No. Um, I like the idea of having a strap match. The only thing that I was a little bit disappointed about was the fact they didn't go sort of traditional uh, rules. So that like, we have to okay. touch all four corners. Instead, they went for pinfall uh, submission. And of course, Jackson Riker won. But uh, yeah, I didn't even hate that. Cool. Yeah, fair enough. I think you give him a chance. Don't watch it. I look forward to um, you know him getting booed out of the building when he... Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Brass it's not going to last. Make the most of, <laughs> he's got to make the most of his TV time while fans aren't there because when they are there, <laughs> he'll get booed out of the building, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a triple threat match in the main event and to the surprise of absolutely nobody, Drew McIntyre qualifies for mm. the Money in the Bank ladder match and hopefully he won't win. Nothing against Drew. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't need to see it again. I, I like Drew a lot. I really yeah, do. He- but I just don't want to see it again because I feel like we've had that for the last year or so and I feel like it needs to be a bit fresher. You know, hence why I'm so happy that you know, the likes of Riddle and Ricochet and Morrison are in this match because it does make it feel a bit fresher. Yeah, I agree. Um, and of course, Biggie, yeah. who qualified on SmackDown. Yeah, awesome. Uh, but yeah, I agree. Um, when Drew won it, I was a bit like, uh, okay. Um, but yeah, I see why he won it. And as long as he doesn't win it, I'm fine with it. I do. I, I just I like Drew a lot. And yeah. Uh, but that and match was a bang. It really was. Yeah, great. So good. Yeah, really, really good. Uh, so good episode of Raw this week. You know, we don't say that very often, but, yeah. you know, fans are coming back. Money in the Bank is coming up. You know, is it time for a bit of a resurgence for Raw? Hopefully. It needs it. It then most it certainly needs it. Needs it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it most certainly does need it. Um, NXT, another really good show this week again. Yeah, really good. Um, Great American Bash is next week. And mm. yeah, it was basically all just to set stuff up for Money in the Bank. So there was a um, like a number one contenders match for the women's tag team titles. It was the former champions, uh, Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon against the mm. Oshirai and Zoe Stark. And um, the latter won. So they will take on uh, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell for the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships next week at the Great American Bash. Yeah, might be a good match as well. Enjoyed that a lot. Really good match. Good, uh, yeah, really, really good stuff. I liked it. Um, it was a triple threat, wasn't it? It wasn't a uh, yeah, co- wasn't yeah, a straightforward as that. Sorry. Yeah, it's the Kota Kai and the uh, uh, Ricardo Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah, really good match actually. Yeah, really, really good. Sorry, that's uh, that's my bad. But yeah, that's good right. stuff. No, but, um, yeah, so I don't think Io and Zoe Stark win. No, I think there'll be I think there'll be some sort of detention and maybe they'll have, you know they'll break up and have like a few in the future. I think so too. I could see Zoe start maybe turning on EO, yeah. joining the joining the way, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe, but I do think mm. they'll be feuding soon. Yeah, which would be good because they're both great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Zoe starts great, man. We we spoke pretty highly of her on the on the podcast a couple of months ago now, but when yeah. she first started to sort of break onto the scene. But yeah, um, look forward to seeing how that unfolds. Good segment. Uh, Cameron Grimes had a match and then LA Knight came out <laughs> and basically Cameron Grimes challenged him for the Million Dollar Championship at the Great American Bash. And LA Knight accepted and basically said if Cameron Grimes loses, then he must become LA Knight's butler, which yep. <laughs> I think probably will happen. And this is going to be a whole part of a, um, a Cameron Grimes like redemption type thing. Yeah, yeah. Definite base turn. Um yeah, I agree. It's one of those things. Just like, why would they make the stipulation if it wasn't going to happen? Kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because there was there was nothing that you know. If LA like if LA Knight lost, he just loses the belt. But if yeah. Cameron Grimes loses, you know, he's got to do that. And that, I think I'll roll with that for a few weeks. Yeah, me too. Um, and you know, I'm going to go SummerSlam weekend. He wins the million dollar championship. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. That sounds. Yeah, LA Knight rules. By the way, he does. I can say, say all the time. I could just scream it from the hills. He just he's awesome. <laughs> It's so good. Uh, great segment between um, MSK and Tommaso Ciampa and Timothy Thatcher building mm. up for their tag team championship match next week at the Great American Bash. Looking forward to that one a lot. The grumpy old men are right there. They, are, they do look like <laughs> grumpy old men, don't they? That's like yeah. us against um, like little kids. 
<laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Funny thing like is, Tommaso what... Ciampa, Tommaso Ciampa is like our age, and he looks about eighty. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's <laughs> uh, he's had a tough paper round. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's probably so, younger so, than me. He's probably younger than me. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Karrion Cross and Johnny Gargano still feuding. It looks like that's going to be a match, but I don't know when because it's not been officially announced. Yeah. The Great American is this, Bash. Is this a face turn for Johnny? Are I they don't know. Cheered? I can't work it out. I think so. I think the comedy stuff has got the way um, to being faces now. Yeah, because they're being cheered um, during that segment. And the thing is, does that mean Candice LeRae and... Uh, in the Hartwell face, because they're still acting at the heels during their tag matches. So it's like, yeah, it's it's a confusing one. It's like Johnny and Austin are faces, and then Indy yeah. and Candice are not. Yeah, weird one. It's a really weird one. But um, uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but Karrion Cross seems to be developing a bit more of a personality recently, talking more, um, being a lot more sort of uh, free on the mic. Yeah. Definitely being prepared for the main roster. Absolutely. I really, really hope they don't split him and Scarlet up. Um, but they're going to, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to, yeah. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a cool gimmick that's going on. How, can you, how do you look at that and think, nah, let's split them up? Yeah. Stupid, stupid Vince. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am hopeful for Karrion Cross on the main yeah. roster. Oh, yeah, he's got all the potential, potential in the world. Yeah, for sure. But, I mean, so we, we are going to get Johnny Gargano versus Karrion Cross for the title. Um, I don't know when. Hmm. basically uh maybe the week after the See. great american bash just sort of so they've got something to to go on then because obviously yeah, as well they've announced that the um nxt breakout tournament's coming back in two weeks yeah that'd be good so we're gonna get a bunch of fresh faces uh battling in a tournament um if you remember last time they didn't mention him on nxt surprisingly but uh, uh unsurprisingly should i say but jordan miles won the last one remember him who no <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's really good. I remember really enjoying that. I'm thinking, thinking not much. I think, oh, who are these? Going to see a bunch of new guys. Never heard of. It's going to be a bit rubbish. Uh, but ended up really enjoying it. That's where Cameron Grimes came from. Uh, Swerve, yeah, he came from, and um, Dexter Loomis, guys like that. Yeah, so it was, uh, was good there. field last time. It'd be interesting to see who's in this one. Yeah, um, Zia Lee continues to impress. Yeah, he's so man. He's so good. Oh my god, so, he's so, so good. good. I just, I just think I just think it's great, you know. Sometimes some of these things can be a little bit weird, and but this is just great. Her and Boa look like absolute beasts, and I like this whole Tian Sha um, uh, gimmick that they're running with at the minute. Mm. I think it's great. Um, the only one thing I will say about this match is the Mercedes Martinez took a real heavy blow to the head or well, face. I mean, it pretty much knocked her out. She threw yeah. like the the X up <clears throat> to basically signal that she was injured, and that match pretty much ended there. Yeah, nice. I'll also back on YouTube, and yeah, that was a proper, a proper knockout. Uh, she's like doing flops straight onto her, onto her face. Yeah, ex, <laughs> pretty much ex, she's quite straight up. Yeah, you can see when she got pinned, she just wasn't laying. She just looked out of it completely. Yeah, completely. But um, she got taken to hospital. Hopefully, she's okay. Yeah, I think I think she got she's out of hospital now. She got cleared. So. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Scary moments though. Scary yeah. moment. Don't see double like that. No. Um, great main event on NXT this week. Um, Bronson Reed defended his NXT North American Championship against Isaiah Swerve Scott of uh, Hit Row, which Hit Row. I just think they're amazing. I love yeah. Hit Row so much. Me too. Uh, Bronson Reed clearly being prepared for his um, arrival to the main roster because mm-hmm. Isaiah Swerve Scott is the new NXT North American Champion. And yeah. for me, this is the... Probably the right thing to do. Yeah, I think it's, it's well, it definitely you know deserves it for sure. He's super talented. He's now he's got this whole this awesome new fashion going, and yeah, they've got, got to take it up once and read. And it might as well be he be him who takes it. Yeah, Give definitely that momentum going forwards. Yeah, for sure. Um, but happy for Swerve. Love hit row. That's more momentum coming their way. They're going to be a big. Big feature on NXT going forward. I'm I'm almost certain of that. But yeah, yeah, Bronson Reed's obviously headed to the main roster. He obviously had a match on main events last week, which he won. Um, and apparently backstage at Raw this week and stuff like that. So mm. it's like Raw's sure. going to get shaken up pretty soon. Yeah, good times. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so that was NXT. Really good episode again. Yep. Really strong showing. Um, Roderick Strong was on as well. He, uh, he basically was in a squash match, introducing Diamond Miner just a little bit more. Um, but yeah, NXT was really good this week. Yep, really good. 
AEW Dynamite uh, was last night and featured some interesting facial hair. Let's uh, just have a quick look here. <laughs> um, here are the young bucks. <laughs> uh, Tony Schiavone said they looked like porn stars. Those <laughs> words. Yeah. Uh, I see where he's coming from. I mean, look at these. Look <laughs> at this. <laughs> Jesus yeah, it, it doesn't suit them really, does it? <laughs> they're, they're going for just real arsehole gimmicks at the minute, and it's really yeah. working for them, but good <laughs> God. Um, and then Kenny Omega, there he is. <laughs> the whole looking, looking like peak Triple H. Oh, Triple H, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, really good episode of Dynamite again. Um Quality tag match to start things. Uh, it was the Young Bucks against Penta and Eddie Kingston. Um, Eddie Kingston and Penta won and will challenge for the AEW Tag Team Championships next week at the Road Rager, which is in Miami. So this is their final show at Daily Space this week. Yeah, yeah. Good send-off. Yeah, they did a really nice video package at the end as well, basically showing like the first show there, like, oh, yeah. in, like the empty arena when COVID first came along. Hmm. Um, then sort of just highlights of all the shows and stuff. A lot has happened in the in you know just over the year, but that was yeah, a nice yeah. video package. I really enjoyed it. Cool. Um, great main event this week as well. Um, Sammy Guevara and MJF they battled. Man, it was a great match. Um, nice. It was a pay per view quality main event. Wow. It was but yeah, proper good, good send off. Yeah, that's good. Going yeah, down. it was really really good. Um, MJF won. Because of course he did, but it was a it was a tremendous tremendous match. If you've not seen it, go and watch it because um, it was very very good. But obviously, what I mean, it makes sense for MJF to win because um, you know this leading to an eventual um, another match with Chris Jericho. Yeah, for sure. Um, elsewhere on Dynamite, um, Ethan Page and uh, Scorpio Sky were attacked by Sting and Darby Allen. Ooh. And they're going to have a casket match, or they, they call it a coffin match, because obviously coffin's <laughs> right. Um, so they're going right. to have a coffin match. It was supposed to be next week, but Ethan Page was like, no, I don't want to do it anymore. We'll have it at Fighter Fest instead. So that's Ooh. going to be one of the matches there. Cool. But yeah, really good stuff. And um, like NXT, um, AEW have got a, a special show next week as well, Road Rager. And here is the card for that. Nice. So we've got a... Oh, yeah, man, definitely. So we've got the Inner Circle uh, versus the Pinnacle in a trios match. Um, the, the Inner Circle there accompanied by Conan and oh, the yeah. Pinnacle accompanied by Tully Blanchard. Chris Jericho and MGF in a face to, face-to-face standoff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got a mixed tag match, Chris Statlander and Orange Cassidy taking on the Bunny and the Blade. Nice. Cody Rhodes is taking on QT Marshall again in a South Beach strap match. Okay. Uh, I imagine they'll probably go traditional rules with that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, Young Bucks uh, defending their AEW Tag Team Championships against Penta, El Zero Miedo, and Eddie Kingston. Nice. And Andrade El Idolo will make his in-ring debut for AEW, taking on Matt Seidel. Ooh, that'd be really good. That's going to be a banger. Yeah, I like Chris Joker and MGF there. It looks like a Mortal Kombat. Like Just as enough. <laughs> yeah. da 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 Um... I don't know. I think we could see um, Zelina Vega turn up um, with Andrade next week. Yeah, I could see that for sure. I'm assuming her no compete clause is up. Although I'm not, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure. It must be actually. I think it must be by now, surely. Yeah, I think it must be. But yeah, so um, a lot of exciting looking wrestling next week, uh, and then the week after that is Money in the Bank. So loads of stuff mm. to look forward to. It's got me feeling like this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I but yeah, we talk about the releases. Briefly, let's talk. Yeah, we'll talk before we go. We'll talk about the releases briefly. So, have you got a list there? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, who have we got? So, we had uh, Everwise, Matt Martell, and Tate Barker gone, which is sad. I was surprised about that. Yeah, that's been shown in NXT literally that week, and they were great. I thought they were great. Looking forward to seeing more of them, but nah, the, the, the fact is, sad. don't rip off the pre show before the pre show. <laughs> yeah, um, there's still a gimmick. Yep. <laughs> Um, we lost August Gray, uh, Tony Nice, which is a shame. He's been around a long time. Yeah. Uh, as well as uh, Arya Dabari, um, Tyler Breeze and Fandango. That's a big shock to me. Um, not Bruce so much Dango. of a shock to me, but, um, you know, it's always sad to see him go because I liked him. But I felt, yeah. I felt like they probably ran their course in WWE. I could probably see him going Impact. 
yeah, I can see that. Uh, the big thing with Tyler Breeze that he did, it was on like up, up, down, down, literally yeah. every every day, <laughs> pretty much. It's the big deal for them. Yeah. Um, so that's gonna be weird having, you know, not having not having him on up, up, down, down unless they find a way to keep him on there. Um, so that's a sad, that's a sad one. Yeah. Um, Kurt Stallion. Yeah. Uh, the, the Bollywood boys underrated are both gone. Yeah. Uh, Tino Sabatelli, who I didn't wait up to till there. I had no idea. But I, I, you know, I read about this because I saw that t- I was like, Tino Sabatelli, I thought he'd already gone. But yeah. apparently he went. He had one match in on AEW Dark. Right. Then WWE re-signed him. And now <laughs> he's gone again. again. <laughs> but apparently he, like, there's, the, it, apparently he, remember when all that stuff about AEW was like leaked and like oh, the, yeah. like their spoilers and stuff like that because they taped. Oh yeah. Um, a lot of people sort of po- pointed the blame at Tino Sabatelli. Ah, right. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't even realize he got rehired. God knows why they rehired him. But uh, is Riddick Moss still there? Has he still got a job? Riddick Moss? Um, I don't know. To be honest, no, I, I don't so. either. Yeah, I have no hmm. idea. Yeah. Um. So yeah, what's got Killian Dane, which is a big surprise as well. Yeah. Again, he was just... heavily featured on NXT every week. Just put him on NXT UK. I don't yeah. get it. No, because he was, you know, he's in a in a front tag team with um... Drake Maverick. Drake Rabbit, yes. Which is great. And now he's gone. Yeah, I'm surprised. Weird, random. Just put him yeah. on NXT UK. I mean, you know, I don't know. I suppose, I suppose whether we want to be in the UK, because obviously he's obviously married to Nikki Cross in real life. So That's a good point. Yeah, good point. Uh, we also lost uh, Marina Sapir, who didn't really do a whole lot on NXT to prepare. Well, she was she was uh, originally meant to be a part of Diamond Mine, apparently. Oh, really? That would have made with, sense. With Roderick well. Strong, yeah. Yeah, that would have made sense. Um, and the other one was uh, Arturo... Ruas, I'm probably saying it wrong. Uh, but, uh, uh, Toro Ruas, yeah, yeah, that's probably about right. He was um, uh, for casual wrestling viewers, you would have seen him on Raw Underground. He was in NXT a bit as well, but he never really took off. Good talent, and he'll probably do well somewhere, but um, yeah, not to be in WWE. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's about it for this week. The we'll next week when you got him more. Yeah, San- Sanjay, du- <laughs> Sanjay Dutt, sorry, has left his um, his producer role in WWE and has oh, yeah. actually signed in a producer role for AEW. That's good. So, um, yeah, so there's that's that. But it's sad to see these guys go. 205 is pretty much done for, you would have oh. thought. Yeah, that's like half the roster. <laughs> it's gone right there. Yeah, I think it's like down Tony to Nese. single digits now. Yeah, like Tony Nese, Bollywood Boys. Yeah. yeah. Augustus Gray. Ari Dabari. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, bad times, but it's uh yeah, WWE are really trimming uh the fat at the minute and you know, no one knows why. Uh read a tweet earlier on that that apparently, you know, somebody in WWE Great. just said it needed to happen. Great. If you say okay. so. But look, if you're hoarding <laughs> you 300 so. people and barely using any of them, then let them go. Let them go and be awesome somewhere else. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's weird. That, yeah, to get with the people we don't know. <laughs> like these people are being used every week, and then, mm. yeah, it's weird. I don't get it. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't. Um, you know, it is sad, but uh, you know, I do hope everybody flourishes elsewhere. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Yeah, I'm sure they will. A lot of talent well. there. Oh God, so much talent. But uh, you know, I could see, I could see Fandango and Tyler Breeze going to Impact. I think they do yeah. well there. Uh, I don't think they'd probably do well in AEW, but uh, well, you never know. They might do. You know, who, who's to say? Yeah, we'll see. Plenty of potential for you know, you know, there's a lot of potential for people to come back after time as well. Yeah, you know, so it's not you know their careers aren't dead. They're just not working for WWE anymore. Exactly. So it is what it is, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, the show must go on, I suppose. Yeah. 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 Right, I guess that brings us to a close. I believe it does, yeah. Yeah, this was a good episode, good fun. It was, yeah. Classic games and grabs with some new twists and turns. Yeah. With the, uh, yeah. Ever evolving. <laughs> Ever evolving. Yeah, man. Ever Next week we're going to be live. No idea how that's going to go. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure yeah. it out, okay? We'll just figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Maybe do a live game heap, maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just figure it out. Yeah. In true games and grabs style. <laughs> Hopefully Steve will be back next week and um, yeah, we're going to be live. We don't know what day yet. We'll figure that out. We're going to have to probably figure that out fairly soon. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be live. Episode 150. It's a milestone. Yeah. Awesome. 
So, um, but we're still going. You know, we're going to be on episode God knows what by the end of the year. Yep, yep. But uh, yeah, another another big milestone for the Games and Graps podcast. Um, oh, yeah. So, with that said, this has been episode one hundred and forty nine of the Games and Graps podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts on podcast services everywhere everywhere and youtube.com forward slash games graps go check us out on social media at games and graps that's facebook twitter and instagram and tiktok as well my name is sunny g and i've been here with finn Steele. goodbye and we will be back next week for a live episode of the games and graps podcast take it easy guys goodbye thanks so much goodbye